Thank you, Senator. Uh, before I recognize Senator Rockefeller to close, I might say this has been a the last four hours, approximately, a very good debate. Um, we're all trying to get to the same result, I think. That is, how do we improve our health care system? Uh, we really don't have a system today. It's, um, it's just a hodgepodge, a collection of various different components and factors. And our goal here, frankly, is to get some consistency, some, um, some coherence into a in health care reform that reforms the health insurance market, that reduces the rate of growth of health care costs in our country, and also provides coverage for more Americans. My job is to put together a bill that will become law. In the Senate, that means my job is to put together a bill that gets 60 votes. Now, I can count. And no one has been able to show me how we can count up to 60 votes with a public option in the bill. And thus, I'm constrained to vote against the amendment. My larger goal is to enact health care reform. I want the strongest bill that I can possibly get. I want a bill that will become law. As I have said before, I see a lot to like in a public option. There's a lot here. I included, for example, a public option in the white paper that I released last year, and the public option would help to hold insurance companies' feet to the fire. I don't think there's much doubt about that. But my first job is to get this bill across the finish line. There's a lot in this bill that will reform the insurance market. There's a lot in this bill that will control costs. And there's a lot in this bill that would expand coverage to millions of Americans. Those things have to be my priority, and thus I'll have to vote no today on this amendment. It's also important to remind ourselves that Rome wasn't built in a day and only a few major pieces of legislation were totally complete upon enactment. For example, in 1935, this is what President Roosevelt said about Social Security. He said, and I quote, this law, too, represents a cornerstone in a structure which is being built, but is by no means complete, end quote. That's what he said. And we could also say that about this bill. We hope that it will be the cornerstone of meaningful reform. I think that it will be. But it is by no means a complete rewriting of the American health care system. We very much hope and expect this bill will work. But if there are things that, that do not work about it, we will revisit it. We will amend it, just as we did with Social Security. The point is that today, this year, we need to start to lay that foundation. And I fear that um, if, if this provision is in this bill as it comes out of this committee, that will jeopardize um, meaningful, real health care reform. It will jeopardize laying that cornerstone.